What is up, people? Alright. Hope there's nothing weird going on in the live. Alright. Should I join you? Alright, sweet. We're gonna join my boyfriend's map. I will work on getting an SMP server, but in the meantime right now, just gonna enjoy some Minecraft. Uh, let me connect my controller here. One of the few games I can use controller. Alright, cool. What is... Oh, right. I totally forgot about the polar bear habitat. <laughs> Bruh. Why are you unhappy? Mm. If I could have people join this world, I would, but at the they can join if they're on console. I was going to say if you guys have console PC can join this too, right? PC can join this too. Uh, would they have to add me? This is one of those creative worlds we wanted to make, but at the same time, not completely break it. So we said to ourselves, all right, let's not cheat and use diamonds. Let's just use resources that we'd actually want in a world. So this is like a... Oh. Oh, cool. My puppy grew up. Got an enchantment room, minus uh, any enchantment books, because again, we didn't want to break the game, cheat it. What else we got? We got a chicken, chicken feeder, chicken killer, whatever. Sugar cane, bamboo. This is for bone meal, but for some reason we can't get this thing to effing work. Made an extra pen for pandas. Whoops. I don't want the pandas out. So I have three pandas. It's a smaller enclosure. I'd like to make it bigger, but at the same time, I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to make it wider, but there's a beehive over there and I don't want to disturb the beehive or piss off the bees for that matter. This was an extra house we made just for fun. Faster. <laughs> we were 
pretty bored one weekend. Made the majority of this and then, what was it, a couple weeks ago, I added in the polar bear, the panda bear, and we added in the stairway to the nether portal. We added in the uh, bamboo and sugarcane feeders just for extra stuff to put into your furnace in case we can't find coal. Even though we clearly haven't really done too much searching to find the coal. <laughs> Not my best work, but it's still here, but a little tiny farm. There's an automatic farm that could be made, but I didn't I didn't make it. <laughs> I'll get better at the farms, hopefully, eventually. <laughs> and then I have... Animal mob spawners. So anytime I'm nearby, they'll spawn. Otherwise, they don't exist, which is actually nice because it won't lag the world too much. Need wool, need leather, need mushroom stew, need pork chops, horse stable, and Sean added in a skeleton and zombie horse just because. <laughs> that was the extra space I had. Oh, yeah, the uh, extra XP farm for killing mobs. So there's zombies in here just for extra XP. We figure, why would you want the rotten flesh in there anyways? I mean, seriously, what are you going to do with rotten flesh? The only thing we didn't make, and I think they fixed it, so we're just trying to figure it out as a fish, fishing automatic feeder. But at the same time, I enjoy fishing in Minecraft, so it's kind of... You don't mess up. What? <laughs> Automatic feeder. See how fish it. Mm, whatever. <laughs> I always jumble my words. <laughs> but yeah, just figured I'd join the world, have a live stream going. Good day for a live stream. Hope you're all doing well. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you this too. This is for, um, while we're in creative, this is just so that we can get rid of any items that we don't need anymore. Plus we added in some blast furnaces and regular furnaces and anvil. What have you, some buckets here. And then... You might have seen it for a brief time. Let's get out of that mode there, but I'll just show you the inside of the house. Originally, Sean made that copper-topped house for him, and then he was like, oh, I'll just give it to you. And then he was like, wait, let's just get this house. So we made a house in the snow area. Which, I actually like the area in the snow, since the rain won't... Well, the lightning won't get you, at least here. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to find a way to tame these polar bears, and I we can't figure it out. I mean, we tried it out of creative, we tried it in creative. We just can't figure out how to tame these polar bears, because I was going to have them breed, but... I wasn't gonna just throw a random baby in there and just say, have at it. 
Uh, what else? Oh, we have a couple of villages nearby as well. There's one there, and I think there was one over here. Yeah, over here in the distance. We had the nether portal underground because we didn't want it, you know, taking up space or area. But every time we try it and try different spots underground, when we spawn back, it would spawn us in a completely different area than where the original nether portal was. So we finally had to build this over here to get what we wanted. an interesting area that it had us had this nether portal at, but hey, it was what it was. And let's see. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Hope all your week has been going well. Mine went pretty well. We're supposed to be getting a snow, a quote unquote snowstorm coming in tomorrow into Monday. We just don't know how much of a snow accumulation we're actually getting, so it's kind of hit or miss as to what we're gonna get. One and did some grocery shopping today to pretty much prepare. So got some water, got some canned food, and grabbed some food for around the house once, and depending on if we lose power or not. But yeah, we're pretty, we're pretty set for if we have to bunker down for a day or two. Mainly, hopefully, not even bunkering down at all or losing any power. Really hopeful for either of those two, because I really don't want to miss work on Monday. <laughs> Not really wanting to do that. You talking to a villager? I'm trying to think of anything else we can add on to this, because we have it pretty well set other than fishing. There's a couple waterfalls here that are already have been placed. I'm just trying to figure out if I should just make an area deep enough to have water form. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. The other thing is I don't want to mess around with the waterfalls too much because I like the way they look. I almost just want to... Uh, let's see here. I just want a bucket full of water. Trader's llama, but no trader. Makes sense.
cool. We'll just start making a water area here. You are just making some traders very happy. Oh, enchantment books. Sweet. Since I want to make this a fishing area, I will put some torches around here. Well, we have lanterns. Nah, I'll just put torches. keep doing that. There we go. There we go. Close enough. Stupid fishing rod. Uh, there it is. I may or may not have to make this deeper. We'll see. Usually this suffices, but if I have to, I'll make it deeper. Nope. Get the fish out of here. All right, cool. Hey, do me a favor. Hmm. Come down here. Where are you at? You're not giving items. All right, hold on. Let me get rid of some stuff in my inventory. Uh, there we go. All right. I want you to make a pretty big area here. Okay. Is it from where the old nether portal was? Okay. There was one still in here. Oh, you, <laughs> okay. I didn't know there was still one in there. Cool. Oh, another place I have to make is a dark area for um, growing mushrooms too. I mean, obviously we have the, well, we have the mushroom cows. So we grow mushrooms. Yeah.
Dang, I totally forgot how far down you made this. Holy crap. What are we making this into? Just go this way for now. Okay. see what I'm going to do with it here in a minute. Okay, so just keep taking blocks out? Yeah. Uh, you can, from here, from about here, you could go this way, too. Okay. Or this way. But just cut me a big chunk. I'm going to keep going deeper. Alright. Ah, uh, nice little mine for once we do put this in. <laughs> or, uh, survival. Oh, lapis lazuli. Just where's the stone block? There you be. Okay. Put something there, there. Alrighty then. All right, you said just keep going straight from here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just to my heart's content. No, no, just big area, just like not mine a straight line. I just need a big box. Okay. And then when you think you've got one big enough, show me. Sure. We'll go with that. Then I'll just keep going from there.
Uh, let's see. Demolishing to my heart's content. <laughs> How far down have you made it? Negative 35, all right. No, somebody's watching you. <laughs> I don't know. Yo. What's up? What's up, Omar? Hope you're doing well, bud. I'm just hanging in there. All right, I will not destroy that. The gold block. Break it. Break it. All right. What do you need this big area for? We'll see. Oh, okay. Can I be your new man's? Well, I have a man. I'm pretty happy with him, so. plan on leaving him anytime soon. Dirk, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, Omar. I, I, I am <laughs> two better than one. Well, I mean that's one way to put it. That's one oh, way to look oh, at it. Some pretty big shoes to step in just for the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Got my roommate laughing too. <laughs> Did you want me to go this way too, or did you just want me to go pick? You got enough. Okay, cool. I just picked an no. area. You can go one block wide and make it look like a house. One block wide? Yep. From what I just did? Yep. Okay, I'll go this way. I'm pretty sure a couple of these guys and people here that's in the group. Uh. Don't worry, my boyfriend thought it was pretty funny though. <laughs> We need a webcam for it, so you can sit around naked. I'll, I'll show my titties. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I'm pretty sure people would be terrified if they saw your titties. I, I don't know. Someone might find it funny. You couldn't ban him for it, though, because he's technically not nude. Technically, he's not. <laughs> I, got a, I got a fur patch. <laughs> <laughs> I got a fur patch. I'm dead. Some guy has some dirt shit for me, Gary. Back away from the camera. Just you're trying to figure out what I'm doing, right? I am trying to figure out what you're doing, honestly. I know, it's above your pay grade. But... <laughs> it's above my pay grade. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I may have been born blonde. Oh, no, you're fine. But I wasn't born yesterday. Oh, no, you got me. You got me fucked up, boy, that. <laughs> Boomer. Hey, bud. And now my cat is here. If only I had a webcam. What are you doing, buds? Huh? He's a good kitty. My cat is on my lap and he it quit for attention <laughs> process <laughs> listen he's not messing with the keyboard or the controller Give me just a fucking second. <laughs> he is a tension kit doing you get busy putting walls up walls sure uh let me figure out an interior cool purple It's alright. No views though. Nobody's watching. Sad face. Uh, that's alright. People will watch when they want to watch. I'm going to be on here for a bit anyway, so it's all good. Oh, Jesus. This is for villagers. Oh, okay. I'm getting it now. I know you clicked to me once I started putting stuff two and two together for you. Yeah. Nope. Oh, fuck. Messed up. I'll put another bed there.
This is one way to do it. What? Not have to worry about the villagers getting, well, killed. Have your own villager farm. Live stream, I'll have a uh, Pokemon game just running. I'll play a Pokemon game for the next one. I think Colin had suggested Crystal, so I think I'll just run a Crystal. A random. Yeah, you can ran post a, and you can also post a notification and say what you want. Yeah, that's, that's also true. Because this is a last minute stream. And why not? Why not? But if you guys are interested in a Pokemon live stream, let me know a game. I think someone suggested Crystal, but if there's something you guys really want to see me play, let me know. I think for right now, until I can figure out a good... I did not want to do that. A good uh, DS emulator, I think I'm just going to stick with some of the Game Boy games. So from at least, I think, 3rd gen. Hey Francisco, just playing a little bit of Minecraft, a little bit of a, yeah, let's put on a live stream kind of day, whoops, hope you're doing well. Nice purple theme. I like it. Oh, there's an emerald. <laughs> villagers would be losing it. This will be the villager room anyways. Almost done. Whoa, you went pretty quickly. Uh, almost. That works. Alright, now I wanted 
There you are. Because I goofed. There we go. Where'd you put all the beds? I'll get out of your way here. Here, I got it. Where is it? Ta-da! I fixed it. Ta-da! Cool. Other than holding them here against their will, the villagers were, will hopefully like it here. <laughs> here. Let's fix that. Ah, it kind of... Okay. I got it. Yay! What are you doing, Boomer? You're making... <laughs> He's like kneading into my leg. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? You weird cat. <laughs> you is weird kit. <sighs> yeah, let me know any other games you guys want me to play. I think probably Oh, thanks, Francisco. I'm going to keep up with those uh, Game Boy modding videos, definitely. Just kind of want to live stream and interact with you guys more, too. It's a good way to find out what y'all are interested in seeing. Yeah, exactly. If there's anything you guys game-wise want to suggest for me, go ahead and let me know. Uh, I think in a couple weeks we're thinking about getting Vanguard because <laughs> Battlefield was... No, nothing short of a disappointment, because I was really hoping that game would be something, and the fact that this Call of Duty, which is also rebooted from Modern Warfare, is doing better than 2042 just makes me sad. <laughs> makes me very sad. <laughs> I had such high hopes for it, and we got pooped on. <laughs> yeah, mod wise, if I'm going to get another Game Boy mod, I'm thinking about doing an IPS screen for either a Game Boy Advance original or a Game Boy Color, but since I just did a uh, Ben Ven mod on a Game Boy Color, I'm more than likely going to try and aim I'm for it. About it. You should have done mine. Done your what? Yours? Yeah. Well, I can mod another Game Boy Advance SP. That's no issue because I would like to do one of my own systems. <laughs> but uh, probably I'll end up doing a Game Boy Advance original first is probably my next mod. But if I end up finding a busted Game Boy Light, I might do that too. I have one, but it works and they're worth a pretty penny. That one was worth a pretty penny for me to just up and change the screen. I'm not wanting to do that. You didn't put doors in. We need doors. Uh. Did I just 
just hear a zombie? I'll cry. Should I make it a steel door or an iron door? Okay. Thank you. That's all I ask. I'll just figure out a pressure plate. Keep moving on my lap. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> the noises of the uh, villagers always makes me laugh for some stupid reason. I can't tell you why. Why? Here? Or hard at work already in there. <laughs> oh, good. By the way, my boyfriend gives zero shits as to what comes out of his mouth, so you never know what he's going to say next. <laughs> I was gonna say. There, they get no say. Nah, 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 boo, boo. <laughs> I don't think you spawn enough villagers. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, right. Did we make a? Wrong one. To my dude here, who would probably prefer to have that. Merry Christmas. There. <laughs> that villager was wanting that. moved out of the way, I'll put that there. Alright. Huh? What do we got here? Oh, that's level two. Eighteen emeralds in a book for an enchantment book. Nice, though. Potatoes for an emerald. I could play Pokemon right now. I don't trust you. Get away from the door. 
cool. Well, we got a villager area. Kidnap villagers. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of broke the system and did it on creative, but I know it can be a real pain in survival to get villagers into one small area. Putting them in a boat, rowing the damn boat, and <laughs> moving. Here's an easier way. Well, I know the boat method. Essentially, this world is. We made it to what we would want, what we would want, but we also haven't made it broken and put like a boatload of diamonds or we haven't made diamond armor or anything yet because uh, we're trying to not break the system at the same time. We want a world that we want kind of thing. Weird, I know, but... Hmm. Yeah, I know. Chicken. I don't think we have enough chicken. Just kidding. At least that's working. And continuously working. There's been a couple times where he makes that chicken thing and it breaks. Alright, let me get my butt back into the house. Thank you. Yeah, it's just something we made one weekend, and we added a couple things. I want to say it was like last weekend or two weeks ago. I put in the panda area. I made a polar bear area. He added in the uh, stairway to the the nether portal. There's a couple things that we could still fix. Like I can make an automatic farm. I just need to probably break down the farm I have and rebuild. But I might do that a different time. I think right now I might try and play a Pokemon Pokemon game. Boomer, I'm sorry my kitty, but you need to get off mom's lap. Ugh. Come on, bud. Good job. All right, whoops. Save and quit. I'm gonna go play on a Pokemon emulator. <laughs> We're changing it up. I know it says Minecraft, but now I'm really changing it up here. You can close it out and change the title. Not in the screen, just change the title. I don't know if I can do that. Close the game. Okay. Don't mind me. That's not. Change that. I can't. Move it down. Change it. I have it going through here. I can't manage you, you it. You change it, Jesus. I'm leaving it. I'm not trying to mess and end the stream here. All right. So. Play emulator. And let's see. I'm going to do... Crystal. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Hello, emulator. There we got it.
let's see, six. It's almost seven. Close enough. Can I save my progress in this emulator? Yes, I can, but I have to put it into my, what is it, my, in my save site. Yeah, I have to save it to my documents. It's kind of weird. Pokemon? Yeah, any starter Pokemon you want me to try? You can't really nuzlocke it, but we can try. Now it's Saturday. Yes. I love how you say yes when she asks if you know how to use your phone, and she still proceeds to tell you how to use your phone. <laughs> Good old Pokemon, yeah. <laughs> Where you could have underage gambling. <laughs> Up until 4th gen, I think it was. I'd like you to raise a Pokemon. What if I hit no? <laughs> There's no point in me playing the game anyways. <laughs>
though he started playing Pokemon in what, second gen, I think? First and second gen. I've watched plenty of PokeTubers, but uh, trying to get a Nuzlocke without having to pay for one, I can't find one. Neither can my boyfriend, because we definitely would love to try and play a Nuzlocke. So if you have any recommendations on any Nuzlocke or anything, let me know. Yeah, he, he's tried a whole bunch of free ones, but he can't get any of them to work. Because he, he has been chomping at the bit to, to uh, play a Nuzlocke. Especially with me. if I didn't, let me know. I turned down the volume on here, but I might just need to play around. Alright, hopefully I fix that. Polywag. That actually wouldn't be a bad water type to grab. No. Because you could evolve it to Poliwrath or Politoed. Well, I can't do Politoed because I'd have to trade it. But still, having a water fighting type? That wouldn't be bad. Hmm. I've thought about this, and I've also thought about Slowpoke. I know in this game you can't get Mareep, which is so stupid. It's one of my favorites. I love Ampharos. I think my berry's gonna kick in. Yep.
Poliwag. All right. I don't think I've ever used one on my team, I'm going to be honest with you. It would be a nice opportunity to actually try one of them. All right. Let's go here. Potion. There we go. And then give this to Cyndaquil. There we go. Back to Holden Berry. Dang it. I think you're dead. Not quite. Oh, I did make it to level 7 already. As long as I'm at level 7 when I go against the rival, I'm usually pretty happy. Because I'll at least not struggle too much with the first battle. I usually skip random battles as much as possible, but the rival battle in this one can be a bit tough if you just go at it with a level 5. You're dead. What? Ah, Mr. Pokemon. A mystery egg. No, I will not be using what's in the mystery egg. Professor Oak. The latest version of the Pokedex. Wait. Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. Thank you. Alright. And random phone call. <laughs> now, what to name my rival? Everyone always names their rival something usually pretty bad. Back when Pokemon allowed you to name your characters whatever you wanted to name them. Alright, I'm about to run into him. I'll show you what I mean. What a waste that I got a Pokemon in the lab. My dude, you stole it out of the lab. But it's a cute Totodile. My favorite starter in the history of Pokemon. I love Totodile. Name it David. <laughs> Why David? Not a bad name, just... What did David ever do to you? <laughs> There's that berry kicking in.
so close. Come on. Boom, level eight. Funny name. Oh, true. That, and if you ask anybody with any accent whatsoever to say the name David, it always comes out funny. And for a villain, true, it would be funny. Alright, let's head back to the lab. Okay. Back in New Bark Town. There's a police officer. Yeah, I sure did. His name's David. <laughs> The road to the championship will be long. Make sure to talk to your mom. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. Alright mom, where are you? No, you're not saving my money. Bye. I'm gonna go catch Pokemon. Only reason I'm going through this tutorial is because I always like this guy's name. His name's Dude. <laughs> I can't even. They couldn't come up with a name, so his name's Dude. Alright. So I definitely will catch a Polywag. Polywag. I don't know how you pronounce it. <laughs> My flyer will not be consisting of a hoot hoot. Not my favorite flying type from a beginning route. And I'm not waiting for a Pidgey. I've used Pidgey way too many times as a flyer. We're gonna use a different flyer. Poor guy. <laughs> Yeah, doesn't get a name, just called Dude. They did that in Gold and Silver, too. I found it hilarious. Poliwag? No, Spinrack. 
Sorry, I do not want you. I honestly didn't have a favorite bug type until 5th gen when Joltik came out. And then, uh... One of the bug types from the Alolan region I ended up liking. What is it, Vicavold or something? I forget. I can't keep up with the newer ones. I mean, obviously I've played them, but I can't keep up with the names. Now that I want a polywog, it won't show up. <laughs> That's a big old sad face. Come on. I don't want a bug type. Oh, come on. I want to... Where's the water type, man? Come on. Damn it, Hoot Hoot. Did you find a Nuzlocke? Did you find a Nuzlocke? I think my boyfriend just found a Nuzlocke. <laughs> No, you found a randomizer, which it's is a nuzlocke. well. It's still it's still a nuzlocke, but finding the randomizer is even better. That's actually awesome. Cool. Oh my gosh, he just found a randomizer. Oh, this is going to be great. The possibilities are endless now. I won't do it for this live stream, but... Yeah, it'll take me a minute to get it to work on hers. But he's going to toy around with it. I'll let him play around with it. Why can't I find the damn polywog? I am so sad. Don't tell me it's like one of those with like a less than 10% chance of finding in the grass and I found it the first try and that's the only time I'm going to find it. I didn't have Pokeballs. Alright. I'm just going to go start fighting trainers because I don't want to take like 20 minutes to try and find a Poliwog right now. Hey Daniel, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, you'll have to let me know if that randomizer works. I haven't fiddled around with that uh, Game Boy yet. I do plan on it. I just had a very long, busy week at work. Wasn't bad, just... Long, <laughs> to say the least. But I will say it sounds like we may or may not have a snowstorm coming through. And I may want to work on that Game Boy before, depending on if we do or do not lose power if we do or do not get a snowstorm. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, that might that I might work on that tomorrow just for something for me to do. It's Sunday. <laughs> Ta-da! Alright. Polywog? Damn it. Bug type Pokemon, if only I had fire type moves yet. I still didn't struggle with that, even without the fire type moves. Route 31. Ooh, here we go. Here's an item. Alright, I'm going to run into this cave real quick and I'm going to grab another Pokemon I actually do want on my team. Not Geodude. Nothing wrong with Geodude, just don't have the link cable to trade. Not Geodude. I still laugh at the fact that you can get a Geodude in a female form and it's still called Geodude. with me wanting to find a specific Pokemon and I can't find it. <laughs> Did you get it working? Oh, wow. Right. We'll see if it works. I'm watching him play around with this randomizer, seeing if it works. He has it on the Visual Boy Advance. We'll see. As much as I love running into these Geodudes, it's not the Pokemon I'm looking for, man. That's it. Thank you. This is my flyer. Oh, jeez. I hope I don't kill it. Uh, let's just say screw it and just lob a Pokeball at it. I don't want to kill it. Yeah, that's life. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> Dang it. All right. I was going to say, you're not going to do much damage, a bug-type move. Uh, I might kill it. 
No, I didn't. Wow. A poison flying type that turns into a really fast poison flying type because it got its third evolution crowbat in this game? Yes, please. Plus, this will be hopefully a decent Pokemon to use against Bugsy. If not, that's what Cyndaquil's for. That'd be easy to catch. Cool story, bro. Critical hit. Sweet. Four of these. Cool. Why do I keep hitting yes? Weedle! Please don't poison me, I'll cry. Oh wait, I have that poison cure berry. Never mind. Have at it. I was gonna say, that's pretty loud. Already level 10. Good lord. Yes. I uh, will just start with the training right now. The old switcheroo technique. Because at level two, he's not going to do anything. If he got this randomizer to work, I'm gonna I I'm gonna be really wanting to try that. Thirty two Poke Dollars. Good lord. What do I run into here? I don't don't want the damn hoot hoot. Violet City. Yeah, there's a speed up button. Makes a world of difference, doesn't it? All right, Bell Sprout Tower.
bell sprout. Oh my gosh, it does work. That was a neato queen. What was the first one? A muck. <laughs> and a mew? I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I need this in my life. Well, hello there. Hey, Jay. You just got a mew. All right, let's go. He's using the randomizer on Crystal and he got a mew. I'm so done. <laughs> it was muck, Nido Queen, or mew. Is this Pokemon Crystal? Yes, it is. I'll get this downloaded for you. It takes a minute to get it to set up and run. Once you get it set up, then you can start. Oh, I I might I might stream this tomorrow. <laughs> it takes a minute. Oh, that's why I'm saying I'll stream it tomorrow, or Monday. We'll see. Depending on how long it takes us. You got. I've been at it for like the last forty minutes. Okay. Well, we'll figure it out. All right. Let's see how random this is. Yeah. I'm curious to see what's in the grass here. What you got? Let's see. First Pokemon he runs into is... Okay, there's Sentret. That's normal for that grass area. I'll laugh if the grass... Every Pokemon in the grass are the same. <laughs> but you, you, st you started out with a Mew. I mean, come on. Pidgey, that's also normal. Pokemon Crystal Clear. Uh, this emulator doesn't have that, but I think with the Visual Boy Advance, which I think is what I'm going to end up downloading, I will be able to... I, I think I can download other, but I'll have to look. I can't remember off the top of my head. Right now I'm using the uh, Play emulator. Bell sprout. I love how back in the day when we were younger, we'd complain about the amount of Zubats we'd find in a cave. And trying to find that Zubat in particular was a real pain. Ah, you left the wild Pokemon unchanged. Yeah. Okay. Well, trial and error. This is going to be so awesome if I can do a randomizer Nuzlocke with you. You got a Discord? I do. Mm. Is that simply a Discord of your own? Oh, of my own? I have my own personal Discord. As for the channel, I don't. But I can look into getting one. In due time. In due time. I think the only thing I really have for the channel is uh, Instagram. But usually in my videos I'll post my like personal Instagram and my Snapchat, but I don't have a Twitter because I don't keep up with Twitter at all. I can't stand Twitter. Where am I from? Um, I'm from uh, Pennsylvania.
northeast. Bell sprout. Yeah, if you want to keep in touch, um, you can either go to the uh, YouTube Instagram or you can go onto my personal Instagram. I'm usually on those more often than I am my own Snapchat. I'm on Snapchat, but like I don't post a lot on Snapchat. Level 11 and still no fire move. Uh, I forget what level I get a fire type move. Alright. Working on this Zubat. Uh, isn't there an item up here? Yes. Nothing but bell sprouts, and then once you get to the top floor, a couple of them will have hoot hoots. At least I got you to level five. But I don't want the Zubat to faint in any way because then its happiness goes down, and then it's going to take me longer to get a crowbat. Because it evolves with happiness, or friendship, or one of the two. I forget which. Essentially not fading your Pokemon. No, go back, go back. No, 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 no. You still don't even have a second move. Should try to get a Dunsparce. Oh god. Actually, one of my friends in high school, her favorite Pokemon was Dunsparce. And I was like, that's a different Pokemon. I mean, I don't hate it. It's just not one I would ever think to use. <laughs> I always liked the lore that was for Dunsparce. I, I, it has such a cool backstory, some of these Pokemon do, and Dunsparce is one of them. I think it's based off of this mythic animal or something from Japan or China or something. He is trying the randomizer again on Crystal. Alright, 
I think the next floor I'm going up to the bosses and I need to go back and heal because I stupidly did not buy potions. So excuse me as I backtrack. I hate doing that, but I didn't buy potions. Obviously my favorite is Seal, the water doggo. I like Seal. I've used one of them on my team. Um, there's just other water types that I feel are better, and since Pokemon, there's a lot of water types to pick from. There's better ones out there. Nothing wrong with Seal, just... I could find something else. <laughs> Alright. The randomizer is just going to randomize because he had it set previously with just the starter Pokemon to be randomized and he was going into the wild grass expecting it to be random but he had to set it. So he just reset the game completely and he's going to uh, try out this and see how it looks. Essentially it randomizes your starter, it randomizes the grass Pokemon and uh, that's why whenever you watch anyone on uh, for PokeTuber wise, if they're doing randomizer nuzlocks, it's it's pretty fun watching those, especially with what Pokemon you possibly could get from the grass, including the fact that there's legendaries in there too. It's it's actually pretty fun. Something I'm hoping and looking to do for the channel and might make it happen. Ah, uh, supersonic. That's still not going to do much. <laughs> Special attack. Essentially, they make you go through this tower so you can get the HM for Flash, which you can't even use until you beat the first gym anyways. So they make you go through this tower to get Flash first before you can even use it. Makes sense, right? Pokemon logic. I feel like your favorite starter is Litten. Actually, from that generation, I loved Poplio. Not gonna lie, I was Team Poplio from the beginning, and when I saw Primarina, when it uh, I first evolved it, I literally lost it. I was like, I get a mermaid. I'm done. I love this. Nothing wrong with Tony the Tiger, but... I, l I like my uh, pre-marina. Level 7, yay! Yeah, out of those generation of starters, I actually didn't really hate any of the starters, just... I always felt bad that Poplio got hate on, and then... <laughs> it turned out to be a water fairy type, which was actually really awesome. I cannot wait to get a fire type move. Awesome, I love critical hits on me. Um, collecting cards, I 
did for a time. I got rid of them. This was in, like, Diamond Pearl era. And then... My boyfriend Sean and I grabbed a couple while we were in Kentucky, and... We got a couple, but... I don't know if we're gonna avidly collect them. We just might make videos for, um... Opening up Pokemon packs. Something fun to do, maybe. There we go! Finally! A Fire-type move! And I'm almost dead. Can I... Mm. Okay, that's something at least. Yeesh. Please hurt yourself. Wow. Ugh. I'll see if I can do anything. Doubt it. I have two potions. Use it. Ember, let's go, finally. Ta-da! Used an escape rope, which is conveniently sitting here for me. Out of this whole tower when you're supposed to run into random Pokemon, and right before I'm supposed to fight him, I run into Rattata. Cool game, cool. I'm also possibly going to have to come up with an electric type because you can't get Mareep in crystal. Hmm. Decisions. Because as much as I want to use a Pikachu, guess what you need to get a Pikachu? You need a Thunderstone! Or to get a Raichu. <laughs> and getting any of the elemental stones in this game is notoriously hard. Fun, shiny encounter stories. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was playing Diamond, and I was in the water randomly, and I ran into what was a shiny tentacle at the time, but I didn't know it was shiny. So I just lobbed a Pokeball at it, grabbed it, and said, Oh, it's a different color. Cool. 
I don't know why it's like this. Lo and behold, like, two years later, I find out what shiny Pokemon are, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I've had a shiny tentacle this whole time. <laughs> Other than that, I never encountered a wild shiny up until I started breeding more Pokemon in X and Y, and I got a shiny mill tank, and I lost my shit. Shiny mill tanks are blue. <laughs> I didn't really get into shiny collecting, but when I was breeding for Wonder Trades back in the day, and I got a shiny mill tank, I was like, okay, this is actually really awesome. <laughs> I would never get rid of that one that uh mill tank. It's in my po it's in my pokey bank as we speak. <laughs> I remember trying that shit one time to put a big lid up and fucking got a Kyogre in return. I'm like, you're oh gonna, shit. You got a you, you got a Kyogre it. for a diglet? <laughs> oh, I always liked those. You'd get- you'd give them this crappy Pokemon and you'd feel bad because you'd get this legendary and it's like, oh. I wasn't expecting get, to get anything good, I was just getting rid of the Pokemon, you know? God, I miss Wonder Trading. I got a fishing rod and I used it for the first time and the first Pokemon I caught was a shiny Magikarp. Oh, that's awesome. What the what sucks is the fact that you can get a shiny Gyarados every time you play Gold, Silver, Crystal, Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver. It's kind of like, aw. You know, it's like you get a shiny Pokemon every time you play the game, but it's like you got that shiny Magikarp, man. I feel ya. Alright, uh, Escape Rope. That's what I wanted to use. Yeet. All right, done with Bellsprout Tower. Shall we heal your Pokemon? Yes, heal them. Diamond Pearl remake. Yeah, I'll have to figure out an emulator or some way to play it on my PC because I have no clue on how I'm going to do that. I really did enjoy the remake, though. You got a Muck as your first one. There's the Nita Queen. <laughs> and Mew. So you... At least you can get that Mew again. Alright, first gym. I do have a switch, I just don't know how I can have it to where I can live stream and or, you know, play it. I have two switches, I have a switch light and a one of the first model switches. Oh my god. Yeah, when the new Pokemon games came out, I grabbed both copies the day it came out, and my boyfriend and I played it together. He played on Shining Pearl, and I played on Brilliant Diamond.
He started with Chimchar and I started with my trusty old Turtwig like I used to back in the day. You like Let's Go and Sword and Shield? I did actually like Sword and Shield and Let's Go. Uh, I actually played it with a couple of buddies and that's how I ended up finishing the game. Um, I did enjoy Let's Go to a point because at the same time, you know, it's Gen 1 all over again. But the uh, Pokemon Go aspect, I was iffy on because I was like, well, if I wanted to play Pokemon Go, I'd just grab my phone. And I play Pokemon Go, but wasn't expecting it to be on my Switch. Sword and Shield, on the other hand, added so much for the games. I will say that much. Let's go heal up, and then go face Faulkner. Oh, I totally forgot that they always make a special edition Switch for the Pokemon games. Yeah, I'll have to look and see how that uh, system looks for the Diamond Pearl Switch. I remember when they had a Diamond Pearl DS back in the day. I'm making 2007 seem like it was years ago. It was years ago. Yeah, like, what fucking planet are you on? Almost 15 years ago. It was 15 years ago. I'm gonna go cry in a corner. I'll go cry in a corner if I didn't try to crack my back every time I arched it. <laughs> I'd go cry in a corner. <laughs> my back wouldn't crack every time I arched it. Oh my god. All right, I burned it. Let's go. I just halved its attack. Let's go. Oh, thanks, Jay. <laughs> I don't want to claim that I know it all, and especially when it comes to Pokemon, I sure as hell don't, but I love Pokemon, to say the least. Cyndaquil's evolving! Yas! Quilava. Those were the days of the DS. I know. Good God, I know. I was so happy when I had my DS. That was like my first system that I could claim that was mine. 
Because before that, my brother and I were sharing a PlayStation 2 Slim at the time, so that was a shared console. Where mainly he was hogging it so he could play his games. So I got a DS for me one Christmas, many moons ago. Could you take this egg? Sure can. I'll hatch it and then I unfortunately don't want to use it because I'm not a fan of to togetic, togetic, whatever its name is, however you pronounce it. Take the egg, sure. I don't have a choice. All right, heading on. Paralyzed cure berry. How's the randomizer going? Radita. Another Radita. I don't care. Fight me. And when I say fight me, I mean fight my Pokemon. I cannot wait until you get some better moves, my dude, because switching in and out of battles is tedious. my Zubat at? Yeah, it ain't gonna do anything. I'd say, oh, let's have a leech life battle, but even a level's difference, it's not gonna matter. Dang it. Tackle it. No, don't hurt yourself. Good. Put it out of its misery. Nidoran. Not a bad poison type. But since I already have poison flying, I don't need a poison ground. Hmm. 
All right, I burned you. There's that smell. A repel, sweet. All right, now we're gonna be battling some fishermen. And these fishermen are gonna contain a lot of Magikarp. Except you have a Poliwag. If I had one. Almost, come on. Zubat's at level 10. Thank God. Another Poliwag. Oy. Zubat, I really need you to learn some moves, buddy. But you're probably not going to be useful to me until you're a Golbat. Sweet. I forget when I get gold bad. If that's 20, 21, somewhere around there. 20, the 25 range, somewhere around there. Uh, can I do anything to you? Maybe. I think once I get to the, uh, I think it's Azalea Town for the second gym. Once I get there, I'm going to um, turn off the live stream and I'm going to take a break for the rest of the night. That and I'm going to try and see if off screen I can catch a polywag so I'm not wasting anyone's time trying to find it. I would go to the second gym if it weren't for the fact that I gotta go through Slowpoke Well and go against the Team Rocket.
but it looks like next live stream I will definitely be playing some more Pokemon since I'm enjoying playing this. Oy, this XP though, sheesh. Yes, I'm almost out of leech life. I'd like to keep going, but it doesn't give me enough XP to make it worth it. And this is a level 15. I wonder when David is going to show up again. Oh, he won't show up until I get to the second area. To the second, uh, town. He'll be showing up. Maybe when I get into town, I'll go and battle him, because I think you can still at least battle him. Another magic harp. If only I knew. But yes, maybe maybe when I get to the second town, I'll battle David and then I'll uh, save and quit for the night. I might live stream tomorrow. I might do it Monday. I'll, uh, it, it all really depends on the snowstorm. If it does or does not happen. Goldeen. I will say, I'm just looking at your comment now, Francisco, about an adapter that connects to my PC. Um, they do have a Game Boy adapter out that I can connect to my PC via that way. Uh, now if I could get one for the DS games and the Switch games, I definitely would be very interested. But getting ones for my Game Boy games is also going to be pretty sweet too. Do you like snow? Uh... I have lived in this area my whole life, and I used to love winter when I was a kid, and I used to love snow. I have since grown out of that. I mean, not more other- oh, what? Dang it. Let's see if I can do this with Zubat. It's hit or miss. It's like, oh, the snow is pretty and it's quiet after, you know, the first snow and everything. And especially when no one's on the road and everything, but at the same time... I hate driving in snow. If that makes sense, because I absolutely get terrified driving in the snow. Ah, cool. I might get sent back to the Pokemon Center. I don't care. Alright, we're gonna grab some potions. Good n Uh, no. Let's not do that. Sure. Four will be fine. I didn't want to break the bank. 
almost just spent my whole money on potions. Oh, you live in Texas. Well, yeah, you're generally not really going to see too much snow. No, I will say last winter it looks like you guys had quite a bit of snow there. But, uh, yeah, gen usually you guys don't get a whole lot of snow. I, for one, am used to getting the snow. And it's not like we get so much snow at a time. It's just more or less the fact that I hate driving in it. Now, if I'm out in the snow and I'm sled riding, or if I'm, I don't know, building an igloo or a snowman, yeah, I'm having fun, but I haven't done that since I was, like, 12 years old, 11 years old, something like that. Snow fort, snowball fights. From what I'm told from the snowstorm we're supposed to be getting, from what I'm told, I think they're calling for six to, what, eight inches, but it keeps changing, and I think this morning I saw that maybe we're supposed to get 11 inches now, but I don't know. Anymore, anytime they call for a lot of snow, we only get like maybe one to two inches, and if they call for one to two inches of snow, we end up getting like six to... 10 inches. It's pretty much hit or miss no matter what and the uh, weather weather people are pretty much paid to be wrong essentially. Whooper. This is where I really wish I could find that polywag. trust those people. <laughs> no. <laughs> Weather changes every 15 minutes. I, I don't trust them as far as I could throw them. A million pokey dollars. That, you can't even get that. Not for a slow poke tail, my dude. Alright, I'm gonna rebattle that guy with the Goldeen. At least I healed up here. I'd be taken right back to this Pokemon Center if anything happens. Alright, that's for the girl that's there on Fridays. All right, my dude, let's try this again. Goldine, Goldine. Already trying to confuse me. That was my downfall, was I kept hurting myself in confusion. Come on, 
One HP, come on. Good enough. Alright, I think there's one more person I have to battle. Yep. So close to level 11. Close enough. I'm gonna laugh if my next move I learn for Zubat's gonna be Astonish. More like I'll cry. Wow, one hit, let's go. Spiro. Sweet. Now we're about to go through this cave. I just need to heal up again. Union Cave. Radita. <laughs> Geodudes and Zubats. Yeah. First Pokemon I run into is Radita. I'm laughing so hard right now. <laughs> this is where I need to hope and pray that Zubat's going to be enough, because if not, this is probably where I'm going to need to backtrack and go back and get that Poliwag. Hey. Yeah, this isn't going to look too good. Because this cave is mainly just going to be full of hikers and fire breathers. That have coughings, which have like the tankiest defenses ever. I'm going to have to push my luck here. Oh, because I'm binded. Damn it. I'm stuck. Yeah. I'm going to have to backtrack and get that polywag. Bye. 
Though I can't understand why I can't run into one. It's the first thing I run into on that route. Coolio. I'm pushing my luck, seeing if I can do anything. Eh, that did something. Wow. You gotta be joking me. Alright, before I hurt my Pokemon any more than I need to, I'm gonna backtrack and see if I can find this stupid Poliwag. Give me a moment and let me see here how my chances of finding it are in the grass. Let's see. Poliwag. Pokemon Crystal. Location. Alright, let's see if I can get lucky. Okay, Route 30, 31, 35, 44. Details. So I have a 20% chance of finding it at night. Okay. So it's one of the lower percentages of finding it. Okay. And it said 31, too, and there's a 30% chance, so we'll just... I need to get out of this battle. We'll go back up to Route 31. I hope you're a polywag. No, you're just a disappointment. I give up. <laughs> you give up on the randomizer? Not working? I can't figure out how to get it to work. Oh, okay. We'll just have to fiddle around with it. 
All right, let's go up to 31, Route 31, so I can get at least 10% more chance of finding it. All right. Oh, there's a bell sprout. I actually want to catch this so that I can get a Pokemon to use Flash for. It's going to be a F HM Flash user. Good enough. No problem. What's your problem? Yay, Bell Sprout. Well, worst case scenario, if I can't find this polywag, I will just use this bell sprout for these onyx. Onyxes? Onyx eye? Plural for onyx. Hmm. Don't forget to when you save, you gotta extract. Yeah. Saving on this emulator is different, to say the least. Don't mind me as I mindlessly... There we go. Thank you. Another teammate on my team. I did not want to kill you. Cool. And that little bit of XP. All right. I'm gonna have to use the Zubat then to get the HP low. Sad face. I gotta find it again. My Quilava's too strong. There we go. Pollywag! Pollywag! Wag it, big fan, cool me off. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I would like one million dollars. <laughs> oh my god. My boyfriend is now Dr. Evil. <laughs> he has my cat holding it like Mr. Bigglesworth. Come, Mr. Bigglesworth. I don't know if they can tell by my accent, but I'm his inbred cousin. <laughs> Retarded evil. Oh, my God. <laughs> <coughs> oh, man. <laughs> Polywag. One, two, three. Oh, yes. Yeah. My God. <laughs> All right. Teammate number three. No, it's not going to be Politoed unless by some miracle I can get it, get the King's Rock and trade this thing. It's going to be a Polyrath. So I'll have a uh, water fighting type, a flying poison, and a fire type on my team so far. 
I know I'm definitely going to need Ice type to be going against the last gym and the uh, champion. That's for damn sure. And also red. Uh, I want flash. I still laugh at the fact that Faulkner gives you mud slap as a move. It's a flying type gym, and he gives you a ground type move. Logic. Alright, Bellsprout is going into the box. No, not my Zubat. I'll lose all the progress I made on that happiness. Alright. Poliwag, you need to go in front. Uh, while I'm going through the tall grass, I don't want my level 4 to be in the front. <laughs> Wow, first patch of grass. Come on. Radita, I'd kick your butt. Go home, you're drunk. Out of that whole route, just one grass encounter. That kid? To what? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Whooper! Wow, this cave has been whoop, whoop. two ratatas and a whooper. All right. I need you to get some levels here, buddy. All right. Let me see, Pokemon, if you're good enough to battle. Damn. Then be fighting words. Hiker Russell. <laughs> Geodude, huh? Level 4 Geodude? Huh, funny. I got a level 4 Poliwag. Alright. Level! Let's go. Almost two levels. I think the Geodude's levels progress. They get better. Yeah. They do, but it's still four times weak to my move, so... Yep, that'll do. What sucks is Poliwag's really frail until I get, can get it to Poliwhirl. Alright, let's go. Hella levels. Oh my god. Uh, just leveled up three times from that one Geodude. Let's go. There we go. You're already catching up to Zubat. <laughs> like, a lot.
Hold on, oh, wait. look, here's that accursed Zubat I've been told I was supposed to run into. Finally ran into one. I have to watch the videos and download the same stuff I just downloaded again tomorrow. Okay, again. Oh, okay. You're just gonna try on that emulator again. This is a fire breather. But if I remember correctly, he's gonna have a... Coughing? Yeah. Yep. Two of them, actually. Fantastic poison types. <gasps> Bulky as all hell. Hey, you know what muck is spelled backwards? Don't ruin anyone else's childhood. My childhood was ruined years ago when I found out what muck spelled backwards was. Wow. Hey, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Who's in here now? One, two, three, A, B, C. D, A, G, H, I, J, K. A, B, C. Easiest one, two, three. Sorry. It's all right, people. She's a little special. Always have been, always will. Muck spelled M U C. Spell it backwards. Well, it is spelled M U K. No, original is spelled M U C. No, it's M U K. No. Ekin spelled backwards is snake. Arbok spelled backwards is cobra with a K. Muck spelled backwards. No. You guys are spelled with C's, no, they're K's. You gotta look up. The, you gotta look up the Pokedex. I don't look stupid on my stream, you do. <laughs> don't mind me as I know how to spell Pokemon. Most Pokemon. Yeah, it's M-U-K. I was right. Just like Arbok is R B O K. Now, uh, now I'm going to prove that I'm right, and I'm just going to say, "Come at me." Hold on one second as I message him. Come at me. <sighs> he didn't even take his phone with him. I am so sad. Well, he'll see it when he comes back in. Which gen is my favorite? Uh, actually, second gen is my favorite, which is what I'm currently playing. But um, if I had a close, very close second, it'd have to be uh, fifth gen. I really enjoyed uh, black, white, black two, and white two. I really enjoyed the Unova region. And I, I loved a lot of the Pokemon from 5th Gen. Some of those are on my top 10 favorites. Which I'll have to post that too. That'll be another one for me to do is like Pokemon lists that I, I like. Like top 10s and stuff. I won't get super into those because I know there's a lot of people that can get really into those top 10s. And some of them are really... You really get into those. Pack. Yeah, Poliwag's gonna be really frail until I can get it to Poliwhirl. I have two really frail Pokemon for teammates right now. Quilava is fine as is, but Poliwag and Zubat are pretty frail. Definitely, I definitely, and in fact, don't even rush trying to get through Gen 1. Please enjoy Gen 1 the way it is, because, uh... Whether it's red, blue, which, yes, they're terribly flawed, but 
they have such a charm to them that I enjoy them still to this day. Um, if you're playing Fire Red and Leaf Green, those are also fun, especially when you can get to the islands. Uh, you just can't go wrong with any of the Gen 1 remakes. And then there's um, the Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu, which I liked it. I just didn't like the Pokemon Go aspect to it. Gen 2 loved it. Um, especially when they did uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I really did enjoy those games to to the max. I can't do anything right now. Yeah, when it comes to any Pokemon game, never rush it. Please enjoy it to its extent. Like, right now, I'm really enjoying playing this, even though this is totally... This is just a live stream. I probably will do Let's Plays on these in the future. I just wanted to have something to have on live stream, and I was playing Minecraft for a bit, but... You can only do so much in a world where you've already done a lot on... Alright, there's going to be an item down here. And until I can surf, I can't get that Lapras, which would also be a decent water type to use. So that's something for me to think about if I want to use. I just have to remember on Fridays to go get it. Because you can only get that Lapras on Fridays. Oh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I played those games when they were new. Uh, I remember when I got Soul Silver back in the day. And I really enjoyed playing through those games. I could I could play through Heart Gold and Soul Silver again in a heartbeat because I'm currently technically playing it. It's a good thing I don't have a webcam. I'm sorry. I think people would find it entertaining. Yeah, that would be the bad thing. That means I'd be the one getting your views. <laughs> <laughs> How's your Pikachu SP? Uh, awesome. I still have two of them. One my grandma got me years ago. The face faded on it and it had been faded on it since I bought it. And I still have the other one with its face still pretty intact. I try to take care of those. Take a belt sander to it. You take a belt sander to it, I will cry. I will cry. Sheesh, you're frail. I can't wait till you're a polywhirl. Level eleven. Already caught up to Zubat. Look at that. I made it out of the cave. If it weren't for the fact that I have one more person I have to fight. And I can't really even heal the burn. Because I don't have a burn heal. I'm just going to have to wing it. It was much bigger than I expected. Giggity? Poison Cure Berry. Alright, this hiker is going to want to battle me. Still got plenty of energy, huh? This is the last trainer until I get to Azalea Town. And I'm going to be fighting him with a gimp polywag. Aye. Woo! 
here we go. Almost level 12. Ooh, no. Oh, I didn't want to do that. We're gonna go to... Guava. Oy, my team needs revived so bad. Healed up, rather. Ooh, so close. Please, please, have pity on me. I am so close to the Pokemon Center. Is there a way to get Mew or Celebi in Gen 2? Celebi, you could only get in Gen... In the original Gen 2, the only way you could get Celebi was through an event on your phone back in 2001. 2000. And that was in Japan only. America... We got screwed when it came to Celebi. It didn't exist in the games for us. We didn't get that cell phone event. So, we got pretty much the middle finger from Pokemon back in the day. Now, when it came to Heart Gold and Soul Silver, there was an event at GameStop. But you had to be there for those dates and times and get that. Same thing with Mew. But I guess as long as you traded it over like from gen 3 or from gen 4 you could technically get it but I don't see there being like a legit way to do it alright so we're in the second town and as promised I'm gonna go try and fight David <coughs> we'll see how this goes because he's still pretty rough to fight. But we'll see. Or maybe I don't fight him yet. Because he's supposed to stop you, like, right here. I probably have to beat... You have to do the slow poke. I have to do the slow poke well. Well, I don't feel like doing that right now. So I will save David and Azalea Town... For a different day. So, with that being said, and the game being saved, I'm going to end the live stream here. I hope you all enjoyed watching the live stream the last couple hours. I may live stream tomorrow or Monday. I might not. It all really depends on if this snowstorm happens. So, we'll see. I don't know, though. But, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later.